Welcome to our channel. We are Technic Force and we help grow your business online. Please hit the subscribe button to get more updates. How to animate your Ghibli images. If you've spent any time online, you've probably seen Studio Ghibli style images like this, along with 3D renders, cartoon style shots, and even action figure versions, all made using ChatGPT. In today's video, I'm going to show you the various options available for you to be able to animate them and bring them to life, just like what you're seeing here. I'm going to break it into three types of animation. We'll start with some fun meme-style animations perfect for social media. Then I'll show you how to create talking head videos, like the one you're watching now, where the character actually speaks back to you. Finally, We'll bring it all together to build full animations with consistent characters across scenes, even with multiple characters, all using ChatGPT as your main image generator. Let's dive in. So let's get straight into the video. So if you've never created one of these images before, they're quite easy using the new ChatGPT image model. So let's go ahead to ChatGPT.com and it's now available for both the paid and free account. So when you head over to ChatGPT.com, just head over to the chat box. You can upload an image of yourself like this one, photo of me, and simply just type in, create this image as a cartoon. That's what you get. And if you have paid plan, you can also head over to Sora.com. So on the left side in ChatGPT, let's click on Sora. So when you head over to Sora.com, right here at the bottom. So you can simply just attach your image and you can ask it to generate an image of anything without attaching one. So in this case, I'm going to say, create this image as a 3D cartoon. So the good thing about doing this in Sora is that you create up to two images on the plus plan. You can also choose your aspect ratio quite easily, although you can do this in ChatGPT by adding the aspect ratio in your chat prompt. Now we're just going to go ahead and I can also modify what this character does. So like in this case, I'm going to say, I want this character in the podcast studio. Then I'm going to go ahead and create that. And that is what ChatGPT gave us. So you can see it's a 3D character, has some resemblance to the image I attached to it. And it doesn't have to be an image that you have uploaded. You can create, use it to create different types of images, both realistic cartoons, 3D, and many more. So, all right, next, let's talk about the various ways you can bring this to life. So there are many options, and I'm going to show you a few. But before we do that, it's worth noting that if you're already in Sora, you can actually animate these images in Sora. You can do a description of what you want the image to be. So in this case, I put a 3D cartoon character in a podcast studio. So the reason why I do not want to use Sora for this animation is that it's not that good at all with this cartoon type animations. So as you can see, these are what it generated. It doesn't look good at all. I don't like it. So here's another example. It looks weird and it's not consistent. So it looks like Sora is trained on realistic footages, so it doesn't do very well with this sort of 2D style, 3D style cartoon animations when it comes to image to video. So obviously I can't use these. Now let's look at the first style of animations, which is your social media meme style videos, like characters dancing, doing silly stuff and things like that. So there are several tools that you can do this, but in this video, we're going to use the tool called Viggle. So it's a tool where you can give it an input video and a reference image and it's going to transfer whatever motion that you have in the video to the character in the image. I'm going to show you how that works. So I've generated the following image right here from ChatGPT, and I want to animate it. So I'm going to head over to Viggle.com. So right here, I'm going to upload my reference image. So this is the image right now that I've created, and let's hit Generate. And this is the result. So as you can see, it's taking that cartoon image that we generated and giving it the same dance animation that was in the video. And here's another one. And here's another one where my character is doing a concert. So it looks funny. And another one right here, it looks like an action movie. So you can see our character is running very, very fast. 
and it looks very good. As you can see, it does that pretty well. And you can use your own real pictures to animate them here using Viggle. Now let's talk about talking head videos. So doing some lip syncing, giving some audio to have your character speak, just like the one you're seeing right here. Now there are several tools that can do this, and I'm going to show you three, which I think are some of the best results that I've gotten in animation style videos right now. The first thing we need to do is to generate some kind of audio. So we're going to Eleven Labs to do that. I have this script right here, and let's click on Generate Speech. And once that's done, let's download it. So the first tool we're going to use to animate lip syncing is the AI tool called Hedra. So it's a good lip syncing tool and you can access it from hedra.com. Once you have it open, simply click right here on video. And once you have that, the first thing you need to do is to add your image right here. So click on start frame and click on upload image. After that, let's click on audio script and let's upload the audio we've generated in 11 Labs. So after you've uploaded your audio, it allows you to trim the audio and they also allow you to change the voice of the audio. You can choose one of the options that you have here, but I like what we have from 11 Labs, so I'm not going to change anything. Click right here, add to video. Now, the good thing about Tedra is you can actually type whatever gestures, animations you want the character to be doing as they're doing their lip sync. So in my case, I'm going to keep it simple let's say talking head video with hand gestures because i want the character to move his hands a little bit and you can select different video models right here so the one that is good at the lip sync is called hedra character 3. so let's use that and now you can select your aspect ratio and you can select your resolution to a max of 720 and the duration is just going to be auto then i'm going to hit send and this is what our final output looks like. If you've spent any time online, you've probably seen Studio Ghibli style images like this, along with 3D renders, cartoon style shots, and even action figure versions. All so as you can see, that was very natural, very, very good lip sync right there. I like it. So you can also do this in 3D, and this is what it looks like when you have it in 3D. If you've spent any time online, you've probably seen Studio Ghibli style images like this, along with 3D renders, cartoon style shots, and even action figure versions, all made using ChatGPT. Very, very nice, amazing. So the next tool we're going to be talking about is a tool by CupCut, so, which was um, recently released. It's called Dramina. So let's go to dramina.cupcut.com. And once you're in here, Let's click on Video Generator and click on AI Avatar right here. Then in the character, you need to upload your character image. So that's what I'm going to use. And in Generation Effect, you have Master and Fast. I'm going to use Fast. Then in the Lip Sync, let's upload our audio from Eleven Labs. Now, it doesn't allow you to describe the gestures like Hedra does, which is why I like Hedra more than Jamina.com. But it does generate a very nice result. So let's click on Generate right here. And here's the result. If you've spent any time online, you've probably seen Studio Ghibli-style images like this, along with 3D renders, cartoon-style shots. If you've spent any time online, you've probably seen Studio Ghibli-style images like this along with 3D renders, cartoon-style shots, and even action figure versions, all made using ChatGPT. So the mouth movement there was very natural, I've seen from some of my tests, and it's looking good, pretty consistent. So now the third and final tool we're going to talk about in this category is Kling AI, which you can use to animate your characters in different ways. Now, it's not just about lip syncing, whatever kind of animations you want to put in characters. So Kling AI is one of the best of that out there today. So to access the tool, just head over to klingai.com. And once you're here, click on video, then upload your image. And here at the prompt section, you can put whatever or describe whatever you want it. And they also have DeepSeek right here, which you can also use to optimize your prompt. So again, in this case, the prompt is going to be quite simple. I'm simply going to say, 
A lively 3D character speaks energetically in a modern studio, smiling brightly with expressive hand gestures. And I'm going to select 10 seconds. That takes about 40 credits, and I'm going to generate that. Now here's what it looks like. So you can see the lips moving, but it's not actually lip syncing to any audio. If you want to lip sync, you want to click on lip sync option right here. So click on that. Then it takes you right here where you type the text that you want the character to speak. And let's go right here, upload local dubbing. Let's upload the audio we have from Eleven Labs. So here's the result, let's watch it. If you've spent any time online, you've probably seen Studio Ghibli style images like this, along with 3D renders, cartoon style shots, and even- So pretty great animations, but I don't like the hand gestures. It's not consistent. And I'm going to appear again, those three tools that we view side by side, so you can see which you prefer. If you've spent any time online, you've probably seen Studio Ghibli style images like this, along with 3D renders, cartoon style shots. So the third category is putting all this together to create a full animated story with different characters, consistent scenes, consistent characters, lip sync, the whole yard using ChatGPT. And it's quite easy to do now with ChatGPT image model, but because I've already created that whole video, so I'm just gonna put that link in the description below. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below. See you next time. Introducing Vidco. Untap your creativity with the best video AIs. Instantly create stunning videos, B-rolls, shorts, intros, and more. Powered by world-class AIs. Get access to top-end and exclusive video AIs like Minimax Video O1, Pyramid Flow, Kling AI, Luma Dream Machine, Hyper 2.5, One Video, Gen 3, VO2, etc. Dual function models included text-to-video and image-to-video. Create videos in any style or genre with text-to-video AIs. Turn any image into a motion video with the top image-to-video AIs. Any genre, any visual style, Vidgo can create any video you want including live action, hyper-realistic, photorealistic, 3D animation, cartoon, motion graphics, slow motion, pixel worlds, 2.5D visual, etc. Vidco is powerful and easy to use. So what are you waiting for? Get Vidco now. Just go to getvidco.in.